Hi, see this. This is a problem regarding that GP and it says that that ABC are three distinct real number in a GP, right? So therefore, we can consider it as that uh, they are consecutive. Let us assume that and let us go, let us go ahead stating that 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 uh, ABC. So let's for the GP, the common ratio is R. So therefore, we can consider that A is equal to A, B is equal to AR and C is equal to AR square. And therefore, what is the given equation? So the given equation will become in the form of A plus B plus C and it's equal to XB. So that's imply that A plus 1 minus X multiplied by B plus C is equal to 0. Just uh, substitute that value. So therefore, we'll get it as A plus 1 minus X into AR plus AR squared is equal to 0. Now it's given that that AR, BC are distinct. So obviously for trivial cases, right, we cannot consider A is 0. If A is 0, then ABC all are 0, right? That's the GP. Therefore, we'll assume that and hence it is reduced to R squared plus 1 minus X multiplied by R plus 1 is equal to 0 as A is not equal to 0. Now it says that the equation A plus B plus C are have de, uh, having uh, real solutions, right? Because in this case, that common ratio is cannot be complex in general in the AP, right? So therefore, we'll consider that this equation definitely have a uh, real roots, right? So let's uh, name number it as equation number one. So say that now the equation one must have real roots. Now, for what is the condition of real roots? That says that discriminant is greater than or equal to 0. Okay. Now, what is the discriminant of this equation? Let's find out that that's imply that b squared. That is 1 minus x whole squared minus 4ca is greater than or equal to 0. That's imply that I just change it to beta calculation x minus 1 whole square is greater than or equal to 4. Now that's imply that x minus 1 whole square is greater than or equal to 4. That now let us observe that if x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 4, so therefore, therefore we can easily understand that that x minus 1 will be will be either less than minus 2 or greater than 2 obviously greater than 2 let us take 3 3 square is 9 so satisfied minus 2 minus 5 whole square is 25 so therefore this imply that that x minus 1 must less than equal to minus 2 and x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 2. That's imply that x minus x is less than or equal to minus 1 and uh, x is greater than or equal to 3. That means this is the reason where x must lie to have that solution must be real. So let us plot that in number line. Let's go ahead. So let us draw a number line where we just mark 0 somewhere, we mark 3 here, we mark minus 1 here. So this is the region where if x lies in this region, then the given uh, equation have obviously have a real roots and the value of r. So why x cannot be? x cannot be belongs to this minus 1 and 3. So therefore, we'll say that hence x cannot be belongs to the open interval minus 1, 2, 3. Now, see that here all the values, right, except except that, ma, uh, ma, see that 4, 4 is belongs to that other side. Let's come back to, 2 is obviously lies between minus 1 and 2, minus 2 outside, minus 3 outside. So therefore, obviously you can see that in this case, C is the only available option where X cannot take that value and that's it. So hope you understood the problem. So let's have a look on the solution and obviously that's clear this problem. Thank you.